so by default your default wordpress login url is wp admin so it is your domain name followed by slash wp dash admin okay so if in case you do not change it then it means that uh, anyone can view this login page anyone can access this login page including the bots so uh, there are lots of bots in the uh, over the internet which are always trying to uh, uh, hack into your wordpress website they are when they access this get access to this login page what they do they try repeatedly uh, different kinds of uh, combinations different kind of combinations uh, so they can uh, some uh, somehow get one of the combinations correct and hack into your website okay so they they try different uh, passwords they keep on repeatedly try out different kind of passwords and at at one point they try so many times that that one point they get one of them correct and they manage to log into your website so if you do not have any additional uh, security in place like uh, such as security plugins such as item security your website is going to be hacked and also if you're using a weak password so uh, let me just show you how can hide this uh, wp admin login page using the item security plugin so for now i'll just log into my website okay so then what I'm going to do is I'm logged in right now. So I have the iThemes plugin installed. So I'll just show it to you right now, plugins. I will go over here and you see I have got the iThemes security plugin. You can just simply go to plugins, add new and search for this term iThemes security and you'll find it. Uh, it is free. Uh, they have got a free version which I feel is uh, good enough. Uh, which is which allows the uh, brute force uh, protection and also the ability to hide or change your login URL okay so what I'm going to do right now is uh, over here you see security so this one is item security and go to settings and then so by default I've shown you that my uh, login URL is WP admin then what i need to do is go to over here advanced okay and then you get this option hide backend okay then check this option hide backend okay so the login slug is current login slug is wp login so what i'm going to do i'm going to simply change this to uh, something which i can remember or something like uh, uh, something which i do not forget and if you want to uh, uh, have the login slug to be something complex then i would suggest you write it down in a diary or a notepad in case you forget okay so i'm going to set the login slug to fee lips okay and so if someone right now uh, types in wp admin then they are going to be redirected to page not found okay so i'm going to save this okay save save settings and then i'm going to log out of this okay what i'm now what i'm going to do so uh, right now i'm in the chrome browser and uh, uh, the cache is saved so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, go to the new incognito window and then try philips interservicecenter.com the website which i've changed the login and then i'm going to type in wp admin and let's see if I can access the backend. So you see that I got the page can be found. Okay, so that's the pro, uh, no, that's fixed. And when I type in the login which I have set in the new login URL, Philips. Okay. it's loading for some reason see now i am in the login page i am going to just log in using my username and password and i am able to log in with the new 
uh, login URL. So, this is, uh, this is a great uh, feature. So, uh, if you like uh, hide this login using the iTheme security plugin, then you do not have to mess with the codes, okay? mess with the PHP codes or try to, uh, try to because uh, editing, trying to edit the PHP codes of WordPress is quite risky if you have an active website. Uh, you might accidentally break your website and it might become unaccessible. So, it is better to in my opinion use the iTheme security plugin which is very good to hide your easily hide your uh, WordPress login uh, and you can also uh, uh, disable this feature if you want in the future. Okay? So, I hope this video helped you out and if it did then please make sure to like this video and also please subscribe to my channel. Uh, 